This is Twit. Solar Winds keeps finding new critical problems within its own code. Last Thursday was a busy day. SolarWinds released a new update to its Orion networking monitoring tool to fix four security vulnerabilities, including two that could be exploited by an, uh, by an authenticated attacker to achieve remote code execution. So that's better than unauthenticated, but perhaps not enough better. Uh, we've talked about JSON deserialization flaws about how deserialization inherently requires interpretation and how difficult it is to create perfectly robust interpreters. The programmers who write these serializers, that is, you know, and, and that's something that, that turns a dense data structure into a, some sort of a series of bytes, which you can then store, and then later you deserialize in order to restore the original data structure. Invariably, the the guys who wrote the deserializers are the same ones who wrote the serializers, or at least the spec for that, you know, the the, the serialization spec. And the assumption is too great that the you know that the data that the that the deserializer will be receiving <clears throat> came from a the serializer that the same guys wrote. So the point is, you just make the assumption that valid data is what you're being asked to deserialize, deserialize and we have seen time and time again that that results in vulnerabilities which create buffer overruns which end up being critical must fix now problems and the orion web console has one of those uh, the second issue concerns a high risk vulnerability that could also be leveraged by an adversary uh, to achieve remote code execution in the orion job scheduler the release from solar winds notes in order to exploit this an attacker first needs to know the credentials of an unprivileged local account on the Orion server. So not privileged, but at least some credentials required. And the, both of these came from Trend Micro. There are also two others, a high severity stored cross-site scripting vulnerability in the add custom tab within the customized view page and a reverse tab nabbing, we've talked about that in the past, and open redirect vulnerability in the custom menu options page, both of which require an Orion administrator account for successful exploitation. So it does sound like, you know, the really bad egregious problems are, that we're no, we're no, they are no longer finding those. Uh, so it brings a number of other improvements and fixes along the way. But, you know, as I'm thinking about solar winds and like how bad a problem they've they've had, how many problems have been fixed, it sort of begs the question, I think, that certainly many people in government and industry must be asking themselves, should solar winds now be abandoned for a hopefully more secure alternative? Uh, the key, of course, is whether an alternative would truly be more secure. It could be that with all the hot water that SolarWinds has recently been in, their code finally got the deep cleansing security scrutiny that it had always needed, so that now it's actually the better solution compared with the others that perhaps haven't had the scrutiny that solar winds time in the spotlight has given it you know it's it's somewhat like the dilemma that an employer faces after discovering some errant action of an employee who sincerely apologizes after being called onto the carpet for it is it better to then sever the transgressor's employment over that mistake or are they now a better employee for having learned a valuable lesson Again, <laughs> the, the age-old dilemma. In the case of SolarWinds, um, my feeling is that bad code somehow got in there in the first place, and it wasn't found. So, you know, to keep me as a customer 
in the long term, and I'm not a customer of SolarWinds, but if I were to keep me, I would need to be convinced that not, o- not only were all of this handful of flaws patched up and fixed, and that's good, but that the, the flawed system that created them in the first place had also received what was apparently some much-needed attention and patching. So, uh, you know, tough to decide whether you, you know, leave something that's been fixed because it was once broken or think, well, now it's fixed, so, you know, the devil you know.